Peter the Failure Luke chapter 22 verses 57 to 60 But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. Peter is genuinely devoted to Jesus. He wants Jesus to be successful. There's the heart of the problem. Jesus is going to redeem Israel and Peter is going to make sure that he does. Jesus hints at his death and Peter won't hear of it. At the Last Supper, when all the talk is of death, betrayal and partings, Peter rises to the occasion. He'd lay down his life for Jesus. He'd risk his own life to save Jesus from death. The others might run, but not Peter. Peter, at the arrest, even suggests that this is true as he draws a sword and injures a guard. He was living up to his word here, but Jesus instructs them to put all swords away. He can't see it through. He can't see it through because he can't see it. He wants Jesus to be the Messiah in the way that he wants. He wants to be a disciple in the way that he wants. He wants success for Jesus and for him to be his right-hand man. But Jesus' route to success is not that way. His devotion carries him further along the way of the cross than the others. He follows Jesus to his trial at a distance. He can't understand why his Messiah is failing, but equally he can't let go. It's here that he fails. Around the fires of the high priest's courtyard, he denies his Messiah, he denies Jesus. Not symbolically, but really and emphatically. He couldn't accept the cross and the death of his master, and that's where he failed. Yet it is also the point at which God could begin his work with Peter. His failure allows him to begin to walk the way of the cross, His failure becomes God's success. Only by losing ourselves do we find ourselves. Only by giving up can we succeed. Winning by losing, succeeding by failing, living through dying. Paradoxes created by the cross of Christ. Failure enabled Peter to be the disciple Jesus wanted him to be. Only once his arrogance and self-reliance was broken could God's grace be at work. Peter helps us to discover that failure is no disqualification from discipleship of Jesus. Failure is God's opportunity to let us see his grace at work. Is there room for the grace of God in our discipleship or are we following on our terms rather than the Lord's? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, too often we want to be your disciples in our own way, not yours. Too often we want you to endorse our projects and give them success. Too often we pursue our own very worthy objectives instead of following you on your way to the cross. Forgive us. Restore and renew us. Accept us again as disciples who would live for you and die for you, who can live for you and die for you, because you have died and live for us. Amen.